so watercolors when you are using watercolors for portrait or anything try to keep water for the these block colors as it these are hard enough right so you need to apply add little water i am using flat brush i am very comfortable with this flat brush so i am using it so it depends on your choice of brush which you want to do okay so here is my water my brush when you observe this the book is there in front of you right so you can see a light shade first don't go directly for the darker shade in your portrait always do start with the light shade so i am having a shadow near hair right the hairline so i am just applying water first i think it is visible for you just applying little water take a bit of color in your brush and just there should not be more color in your brush or even water water colors you can add more water but don't take too much of color at a once with minimum strokes you can complete your whole drawing i am doing the inside part for the ear then again the cheek line as it goes to the cheek line the back side this ear lobe and down part try to just match the colors no need to do it in a even manner that your brush dabbing only will give you the effect of color that's enough as you are using watercolor a bit for the nose see inside near the eye it should be little dark as it is the inner part yes cheeks will be little bright there we are not going to add any color yes even now i can do the hair part see i am just adding a light gray color first strokes you have to keep it in your mind uh, the stroke for hair how they are in that way only you will do now i want to give that hair a particular hair kind of that those strokes so take little more color and give the strokes see when the brush is wet uh, the paper is wet that time only you give it will give you a nice smudged effect nicely it will not seems to be artificial there when you do in this way
the light and dark automatically you will get with the help of less and more water into it okay now i want to add for the eyebrow see eyebrows are not too thick or those are not visible that enough right so just that then the frame for your specs don't do everything too complicated just do it with simple strokes even though it is a flat brush you can also do that because flat brush will give you a thin line how you use it how you hold it right see when i add this you can add few more details later on with the help of uh, your black pen also that also i will show you how to give the highlights you have to give the depth and with the help of the darkest shade what you can do okay as the specs goes far it is merging in the hair part right so i'm just showing it as it is merged there so i'm just adding more black the ear lobe so you will not find any where precise outline as such whatever pencil markings already you have done you need to cover them with the color without fail first of all you need to rub it nicely then only you can cover them right depth always give it little darker shade right as it is inside
then i say again inside you have to give it little dark now to highlight this right i need to give a background little dark so i'm just adding here black color a lot again when i adding this it should not spoil my work right so you need to highlight or keep it in your mind that yes your work should not get disturbed because of your background and that too we are doing it mono color right only one color i am using black color you can use any color try to use black only so that and this you can experiment later on no problem as my hair is already dark so i am not going to touch it just spread the color that's all lots of water and less of the color yes can you see this with the minimum of strokes you can complete the whole thing very easily and i will love to see your efforts and your work either in your book or in your paper okay yes thank you